is your own change. That is very special. How you are very special. Is your own change is spelled. U T C H A Y. This is why I call it Uche now. But it says it's Uche. <laughs> not U C H E. No, U T C H A Y. That's, that's your own. Yeah, that's my own. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I'm in Nigeria. So. <laughs> we're, we're talking about having to dial. First of all, we need to dial the mood of the people. Yeah. Yeah. At least to create an avenue for the forker to hear the forker. That's necessary. Because at the end of the day, there's the. the, the you can't rule out that option of dialogue. Mm -hmm. We need to sit down and find solutions to the problem. Even the judicial commissioners of inquiry that are sitting across the federation, it's a kind of dialogue. People will have to come and fill out their mind, and then government will then have to listen to them and then do the different. So, dialogue is still an option. But then we need to dial the current mood. We can't be dialoguing when some people will in the dead of the night organize themselves and go and attack fresh a human beings or fresh. attack a particular mm -hmm. office because mm -hmm. they think palliatives are, are kept there. Yeah. And it's gone beyond people searching for palliatives. Because I cannot understand for the life of me why people will loot as I was reading in the papers just, just before coming in. One hundred and ten actors looted mm -hmm. from a private company. Mm -hmm. Tractors, we are not talking of something you take yeah. and put in your pocket. The one group that is popular on Facebook, you saw four, five, what than that, having to push one tractor away. I mean, I yes. wonder, for yeah. how long has this been going on in their mind that if we have the opportunity, this is what we are mm. going to do mm. to you? Mm. So we need to end all of that first. Yeah. How do we do so? How do we bring it to an end? Justice for all. Yeah. Okay, first of all, I want to say this that. Um, um somebody that is in leadership or a leader that has no follower is not a leader is barely is just taking a walk that's it if you're a leader and you well, don't have you followers eat, uh, and there's no people. connect you're just taking a walk just yeah. like strolling from ait station as for a year to we say alone and sorry to say this is exactly the narrative of the nigerian leadership what i'm talking about i'm talking about from the top to down the people are not carried along the Nigerian citizens are far away from their leaders. Disconnected. Disconnected entirely. Disconnected entirely. I just remember, that was a few weeks ago, I was actually speaking in a conference, and I said something. I said, why is it that somebody will be given a portfolio as a local government chairman just a few months, like a month after then, he has a convoy. Normally he was working, though, but now he has like how many policemen. Who is pursuing you to kill? Whose money did you steal? You see that kind of culture, I, I, I'm sorry, there's no sorry about this, but that slave trade mentality is still working in our system in Nigeria. That thing of genuine leadership, that thing of service, what is leadership? Leadership is service, serving the people. Like somebody said um, online, he said, the people that we elected, they are actually elected to serve us. It means that the president is serving me, the governor is serving me, commissioner is serving me, and us. But in Nigeria, far away, that's why we're having the problem we're having right now. And amazingly, I'm, I'm connected to the youth and everything. I mean, the things that we do are all about the youth all around, in African countries and the rest of it, and also the project we do for the National Youth Summit in Nigeria. I talk to these young people normally. Now, guess what? It's amazing that the young people don't even see themselves as part of the system. If you talk to some young people, they see themselves as foreigners. Nigeria, when you tell them to say things like God bless Nigeria, they don't even want to say it. But they are like, it looks as if they came visiting in Nigeria. I mean, that consciousness is not there. Why? Because of the way the leaders, I mean, you, everything is just, we need to, first of all, correct our leadership system. First of all, our leaders need to understand that you are called to serve, you are elected to serve. And one of the things that we're going to achieve in this country that I'll be so proud of, which I trust God that in a short life one day we'll achieve it, let's make government offices less attractive. In that case, yes. it will be easier for, for people to resign. That like, is uh, it, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. When, when, when they were saying, uh, was when they were saying, like, look at were just laughing. Somebody resigned in Nigeria. A governor resigned from all the felt like how much to get into to get, seat, yeah. Which is ridiculous. To make it less attractive because it looks like it's do or die affair. It should get to the level that somebody will make somebody a governor three or four or five months after the person will be like, sorry, I can't continue. I thought it was business as usual, but I'm done. We need to get to that level if we want to grow. Our leaders are our servants. Governor, you are our star, star auntie. That's what it is. 
That's what it is. I mean, let's Adverse this whole thing stop. servant leader. Exactly, servant leader. So let this whole thing stop. You have little power. You want to kill everybody. You want to oppress everybody out there. The governor grows with almost 20, 20 vents, all brand new jeeps, on taxpayers' money. Come on now. Come on. That's not fair. And the citizens are watching. So, uh, Benga, answer this question. Is it possible that if there's an opportunity, they are not going to go? Many of them say, in fact, some of them came out of television and were giving testimony when they collected the police. They were like, I thank God, though, for this breakthrough. Imagine thanking God for the bad thing that you have done. So, it goes to show you the way our people think. And it's costly of leadership. Everything rises and falls on leadership. So, uh, uh, 